Ukrainian troops intercepted and destroyed two Russian Iskander K cruise missiles and two UAVs on Thursday, Commander of the Air Force of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, Lt. Gen. Mykola Olshchuk stated. In a post and Telegram app, Olshchuk revealed that the Iskander K missiles were destroyed after they were used to launch an attack on Ukraine's Dnipropetrovsk region from the territory of Russian-held Crimea Peninsula. In addition, around midnight, Russians used four unmanned aerial vehicles in the northern direction of the front. Two of the drones were intercepted and destroyed by units of mobile firing groups of the defense forces in the Chernihiv region, and two more ceased to exist, Olshchuk said. Ukraine's air defense forces also shot down two Russian missiles in Dnipro on June 4. Furthermore, General Staff of Ukraine's armed forces reported that Air Force's missile and artillery units hit five Russian manpower clusters, four air defense systems, an artillery system, and two ammunition depots in the past 24 hours. Earlier, Ukraine reported that it struck the S-300, S-400 air defense systems in Russia's Belgorod region across the border from the Kharkiv war zone. The attack was launched with the use of US-made HIMARS, High Mobility Artillery Rocket System. Operators of the Special Operations Forces, during aerial reconnaissance in one of the operational directions, discovered the location of the Russian mobile radar station, Casta 2E2. The target was struck by one of the newest developments. It is noted that this radar model is considered an ultra-modern weapon, which is designed to control airspace, determine coordinates and recognize air targets, including those flying at ultra-low altitudes. The Casta radar was first detected on the territory of Ukraine in 2021 in the occupied Luhansk region. Then the Russians brought equipment to counter-attack UAVs. However, ironically, recently the vehicles of the enemy station became the target of attack drones of the Special Operations Forces, the military informed. In February of this year operators of the Defense Intelligence of Ukraine destroyed the Russian Casta 2E2 radar on the border with the Russian Federation. On February 13, 2024, Special Forces of the Defense Intelligence of Ukraine's Husey 9 group struck a Russian radar station near the Russian-Ukrainian border. Given the interface of the loitering munition, a Polish-made Warmate 3.0 unmanned system was used to launch the strike. Casta 2E2 radar may detect of a wide range of air targets. Used in systems of air and coastal defense, border control, air traffic, and airspace control around airports. The radar is characterized by increased detection capabilities for low-flying air targets. Casta 2E2 low-altitude 3D omnidirectional standby radar is designed for air traffic control, determination of distances, azimuths, flight altitudes, and other traffic information of air objects, such as fixed and rotary-winged aircraft, remotely controlled aerial vehicles, and cruise missiles, including those flying at low and extremely low altitudes amidst bottom bounce, clutter environment, and hydrometeorological formations. The complete system consists of an electronic vehicle, an antenna vehicle, and a vehicle for electrical aggregates. Operator workstations, accessories, and spare parts are located in two single-axle trailers. A remote operator station can operate up to 300 meters from the system. This advanced radar, with a range of 5 to 150 kilometers and a 360-degree azimuth angle, provides comprehensive surveillance capability up to an altitude of 6 kilometers, with scanning intervals of 6 or 12 seconds, making aerial surveillance more efficient and precise.